you know, it's uh, it's a tough one. Um, you know, joke or not, you know, I just don't think it's you know the right thing to do there, especially you know, given the history, you know, especially the series in Chicago, you know, kind of a little bit of beef between Anderson and JD, and you know, Anderson's you know one of the best shortstops in the game, and um, you know, he's he's a big part of MLB and you know what's going on here, and how we can grow the game, and um, you know, JD for that one game suspension. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it. You know, on JD's, you know, he made a mistake. You know, owned up to it, and you know, now we got to move on. Every attorney in America is pulling out their hair. Let me get this right. Remember the Mal Straw incident where he literally climbed a wall and threatened a fan to fight him? He didn't get suspended. He was trying to incite violence. But hold up. Josh Donaldson said the word or the name Jackie. Like I said to begin this video, every attorney in America is pulling out their hair. You see, because if Josh Donaldson wanted to, he could file numerous lawsuits against media outlets, high-profile personalities, for an example, on Twitter. He could sue all of them because a big baby, a notorious troublemaker, called himself Jackie Robinson and Josh Donaldson was busting his balls and called him Jackie. Not once, maybe about three times previously. You see, I'm getting sick and tired of teams and their fans whining and crying about the Yankees. Why? Because they had or have the best record in baseball. You see, the White Sox, obviously, if you have a brain... Everybody could see this. They used that Tim Anderson situation as their rallying cry. And some players, and specifically our manager, Aaron Boone, fell for it. You don't come out and blame Josh Donaldson for, again, using this example. Every attorney in America will tell you Josh Donaldson did nothing wrong saying the name Jackie. But now he's a racist because at the time, the White Sox were what, 18 and 20? Obviously, a team that's frustrated. So what changed? Oh yeah, the big baby known as Tim Anderson was tight because Josh Donaldson, that situation that happened in Chicago a few weeks back, pushed him off third base. Yeah, he still had a chip on his shoulder because of that. And now what? Yankees players, the Yankees manager, they don't stick up for Josh Donaldson. I heard Aaron Judge's comments about that situation. They did not defend Josh Donaldson. He actually blamed the whole situation on him. The same could be said about Aaron Boone. Now the Yankees are on a three-game losing streak because they lost their balls. They lost their leadership. You're supposed to stick up for your teammates. Tim Anderson does not play for you guys. Like I said, everybody knows that whole situation was a joke. But obviously, you guys ate it up hook, line, and sinker. Like I said, every attorney, every lawyer is laughing right now. Josh Donaldson suspended one game for calling somebody Jackie. After they called himself Jackie, after he has said that numerous times to Tim Anderson, now it's deemed racist. Everybody knows if uh, Josh Donaldson was really racist, he wouldn't last two seconds in New York City. So Yankees players, and specifically the manager of the Yankees, grow some balls because you guys have lost them. Tim Anderson came to New York City and played some mind game with you guys. And now you have lost three straight games.
Find your balls because we all know Josh Donaldson has energized that clubhouse. And now, because of Tim Anderson, he's going to feel left out. Because the Yankees' PR system is following the narrative that could get them sued, actually. Oh my God, Josh Donaldson is evil. He said, Jackie, that man is racist. Yeah, and Josh Donaldson could sue the pants off of anyone that accuses him of that hor- uh, that That's one of the most, hor- most horrible things you could call a person that's not racist. Major League Baseball's one-game suspension on Josh Donaldson is a complete joke. One of the biggest jokes in professional sports history. Again, T.A. is a troublemaker. It's not going to be his first or last situation where he creates drama. This is a guy that even had beef with uh, Strowman, Marcus Strowman. You guys could compare those two as well. Uh, Strowman says some crazy things as well. But Strowman don't like him. Tim Anderson has called uh, uh, white players uh, the N-word, not the... uh, Word ending in ER, but with a GA, he got suspended for that as well. He has flipped the middle finger to fans. We all know where there's smoke, there's fire. And Tim Anderson ain't no angel. So what I'm saying here is, Josh Donaldson, sooner or later, he's going to be vindicated with this whole nonsense. Once Tim Anderson comes off the rails yet again. Because he will make headlines once again. Because that uh, Tim Anderson, great ball player, but a head case. And previously to this whole uh, Jackie thing, a week ago, he even told on uh, former White Sox manager Ozzy Ginn to STFU up on Twitter. So this guy's always creating drama. That's all he does. And again, people eating this rallying cry up because it's essentially that. Get your hands out of your asses. Tony La Russa, you're a clown as well, because I guarantee T.A. told you things that Josh Donaldson really didn't say. And the only reason why we knew what he said is because he manned up and admitted to what he said. Do you know why? Because his intentions were not to be racist. But again, Tim Anderson is a drama whore, and that's how he flipped it. That's why uh, Grindel or whatever his name is, the catcher for the White Sox was so furious, I guarantee Tim Anderson blew it out of proportion and added a few things here and there to to make the situation worse. I'm pretty sure it wasn't just, uh, oh, he called me, Jackie. I'm pretty sure Tim Anderson blew it out of proportion. And what I'm trying to say here is I'm pretty sure he pulled uh, Jesse uh, Smollett with his teammates. That's just hearsay. It's a conspiracy theory by me. No facts to that. That's just my opinion. Again, I'm disappointed in Boone. Uh, Boone has shown that he has balls this season, but his balls left him. After this whole uh, nothing burger, I'm disappointed in uh, Yankees players not sticking up for Josh Donaldson. And hey, uh, the way karma works is that, like I said, Tim Anderson is going to pop up in the news again because that's what he does for creating drama. And you guys are just going to feel stupid once that keeps happening because it's never going to stop. The guy's a complete head case. So Yankees fans, like always, what do you guys think about this whole situation? What do you guys think about Aaron Boone, some Yankees players not sticking up for Josh Donaldson? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.